Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Abdul Wahab. Garu. Now, Sri Kanaka Medala Ravindra Kumar Garu. Thank you, sir, for giving this opportunity to speak on this Bill of National Anti-Doping Bill. Sir, I wanted to deal with this, uh, some provisions. Firstly, I, my submission is with respect to uh, definitions. There are almost 35 definitions are there, out of which 20, I mean, uh, ZDA, ZB, ZC. This is prohibited list, prohibited method, and prohibited substance. The de definitions are there, but uh, that list was not set to the this bill. That is a lack of, once it is, a, I mean, defined, it should be annexed to the bill. That was not done. Coming to the section, I mean, class 5, where any substance or method is included in the prohibited list and such prohibited substance or prohibited method is required, without any list appended to this bill, it is not possible to invoke the provisions of class, I mean, class 5. So it is better to attach the list, though there is an acting power and uh, uh, frame the rules by the government, but it is better to not to deviate from the original uh, bill, better to annex it. Coming to the section 7, and uh, clause 7 and clause uh, uh, 12, with regard to the appointment of national board and also the appellate authority under clause 12, a qualifications have already been specified with regard to who is the person to be appointed as a national board member or the chairman, likewise appellate board also, appeal panel also. But whereas clause 15 deals with the director general shall be appointed by the central government and person integrity. But there was no specific qualifications were mentioned, rather eligibility required qualifications were not specified under 15. Apart from that, Clause 8, 15, subclause 8, deals with the power of the central government to remove the director general uh, uh, without even before the expiry of the time. So that power takes away the independency of the body. It cannot be taken into consideration for the purpose of the directions with, to, in order to implement these provisions. Coming to the other doping control process, Clause 19 deals with uh, power of entry, search and seizure. This is under criminal procedure code. The body, almost as the body is constituted under this uh, bill, is a quasi-judicial functions are there. If that is there, specifically a legal knowledge also to be exercised in order to when the uh, investigation process is going on, power of entry, search and seizure also exercised carefully, but that was not specified in clause 19. Coming to the class, uh, with regard to the, sir, national, under class 26, uh, National Dope Testing Laboratory uh, is constituted, uh, WADA, in September 2018, that is in uh, World Anti-Doping Agency, uh, is identified, sir, it also includes one of the imported sampling procedures and also what are banned NDTL? NDTL test is also uh, constituted by the laboratory before this bill, but it is not in compliance with the international standard lab test prescribed by the WADA. Sir, let me give an example for the proficiency of the NDTL. NDTL has given negative reports in six cases. Then WADA sent the samples again, uh, accredited moderate lab, monitored lab in Canada, which found all of them to be positive. So, so all six Indians involved in were suspended. So they not, not only distribute the NDTL, but also the Indian sports. So we testing laboratories, constituting also is very important. Class 26 deals with the power of the uh, government to, to constitute it. But as far as these laboratories are concerned, it functions. One more uh, point, sir. Uh, coming to the uh, example, Sir, Please. In the 19, 2019, maximum positive samples 225 Please. out of 4,000 samples were uh, uh, reported in yeah. our country. Yes, yes, thank you. So, in view of the taking into consideration, some precautions have to be taken. Thank and you. And take the uh, I mean, suggestions made by them into consideration thank you, before passing. Thank you, sir. Uh, Dr. Tambi Dore.